everyone. Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is the astrology forecast for Sagittarius, October 2017. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I'm going to have to cut this a little shorter than usual. And I say that all the time and I still drag it on. But I have a scratchy throat and I'm trying to cuddle up here and be nice and warm and make this as comfortable as I can for myself. Okay, dear Saggies. Let's get it on, baby. On the 5th of October, we have the full moon in Aries, okay? This is definitely wonderful energy for dating, rendezvous. This full moon is uh, here wanting to, to um, make things happen for you if you are single, okay? Um, it is bringing some things into fruition. Um, it is your thoughts and your emotions are definitely placed on the fifth house of how have you been, um, what kind of people have you been attracting to? Um, what are your, what, it's just the fruition, you know, like uh, things that serve you. These are the kind of people that you should be dating for now on. And the other ones, you know, some patterns that you've been seeing in yourself, some thought patterns that you've been, emotional patterns that you've been seeing within yourself that hasn't been of your highest good. You let it go so that you are, um, the way you perceive um, yourself emotionally and, the, and, and how you are... Um, how you are perceiving, how you do emotion, okay, when you, when you are collecting of that fruit, or how do you say, um, I want to say it in German, um, harvesting the best of your emotions, then you're able to magnetize the right people to you, okay, in your fifth house. Now, Full moon in your fifth house is also showing this is very fertile energy to to get pregnant, okay? Just to let you know. Full moon here is definitely showing that you, you can be very sexually active during this time. Um, it's blessing, uh, it's blessing opportunities for you to be sexually active or to, or to spend lots of time with children, having to do with children, um, and it is also uh, your your emotional connection with children are also um, coming to play here, okay? On um, uh, how how is your emotional connection with the children that you know, children of your family, um, or even your creative thoughts? Maybe you're wanting a new creative edge and. And, the, and your creativeness, if you're into drawing and painting and you're saying, you know, I've been, I've been doing realistic painting or realism for all this time and maybe I should just like um, look at the world in a different light and, and be creative in a different way. Maybe I should put my emotions onto the canvas. It's, it's that kind of of energy here with this full moon in Aries wanting to be creative with an edge <laughs> okay then on the 10th of October um, Jupiter enters Scorpio this is like a double whammy spiritual house Jupiter belongs to the 12th house and Jupiter is very happy here especially because he's in Scorpio so the 12th house that does help to manifest um, because it is the house that belongs to Neptune, that dreamy manifest, manifester. Um, because you can only manifest if you have a you know, strong, fantastical fantasy mind here. And Jupiter is at, is at its strongest in its own house and also within Scorpio. So definitely um, 
are being blessed this year for the next 13 months to be able to manifest here. Um, 11th house is also the house of manifesting your dreams, but here you definitely could be manifesting your dreams. Not only that, <laughs> now, Scorpio also has to do with fears. <laughs> so you want to be careful what kind of movies you're watching. If you are watching lots of um, movies that have to do with it's the end of the world and zombies and stuff, and you are dreaming this, you can be manifesting your worst fears. You want to be careful what things you are eating, what, what junk food you're allowing inside your mind. Because Scorpio has to do uh, with uh, esoteric knowledge and death. And the 12th house also has to do with death and the other side. You can be getting a lot of dreams. A lot of dreams that are like prem premonitions as well This for the next 13 years. You could be if you are into things that um, like me astrology and you could it's very very strong energy here especially if you happen to have your your moon here okay your natal moon so Jupiter here is very very strong it's going to be a blessing your house blessing the house of secrets if you are single you could be uh, involving yourself uh, Jupiter is like also a guru type figure okay a teacher someone a teacher a benefactor could be teaching you things of the occult okay you can be um, more curious this year wanting to dig deep and learn more about the other side and um, just all sorts of subjects start to come up you may also be wanting to um, investigate whether UFOs are for real, you know, things of that sort. Um, but be careful, like I said, the kind of movies that you watch. You don't want to be manifesting your fears in your life, okay? So on the 14th of October, we have Venus entering Libra. This is bringing a lot of of um, women friends into your life or you're, you could be falling in love with a friend okay um, it is definitely through friends you could be getting business contracts as well friends could be helping you out and t telling you you know giving you a tip hey there's this job here there's this job there and um, definitely uh, women friends could be um, b benefiting you at this moment in entering a contract. If not, um, yeah, it's it's uh, uh, Venus wanting to indulge in friendship, wanting to um, expand your uh, um, friendship circle, um, uh, and. It is also the house of hopes, dreams, and wishes. So if you are single and you're definitely wanting to, your hope and your dream is to have a relationship, Venus here is very happy within Libra and will definitely um, work for you. And she'll be bringing on a platter certain individuals in your life who will be saying, I like you, I think you're cool, you're my type, whatever, and it depends on on your own energy, you know, what kind of people you are attracting into your life, you know, whether you take the warm, whether you take the bait or not that they're offering, whether, whether you take the love that they have, that they're serving to you on a silver platter is up to you, but you could definitely be hearing from people who are your friends who are wanting to get into a relationship with you or wanting, you know, to have something romantic going on with you. On the 17th of October, Mercury enters Scorpio. Uh, Mercury is about contracts, secret communications here within Scorpio. 
um, talking behind closed doors, having um, like uh, secret group sessions. It could also be involving yourself in a in an affair <laughs> um, as well, because the twelfth house house has to do with an affair. Mercury has to do with contracts. Um, Scorpio is a very sexual house as well as the twelfth house. These are two deep sexual houses. Mercury is that you know playboy energy. <laughs> He's all over the place. Um, Mercury is neutral. You know, boy and girl. He could be a, a man. It could be a, a woman. Um, um, yeah, he's neuter. <laughs> and Mercury's wanting to make a contract here. Um, if it, depending on your energy or your own birth chart, what could be really happening here? Um, but uh, in general, Mercury is. Um, the communication, even the movies that you're seeing, things that you are reading has to do with uh, esoteric knowledge or something hidden, some some secrets, um, um, even even doing, um, you know, even being interested in books that have to do with gems or mining or you know, anything underneath the ground, okay, things that hidden, things not seen, this is very good energy for politicians as well, um, and the, and like I said in the other videos, the month of October, nation against nation, they're going to be spying on each other, you know, sending out the CIA against each other, inter, international police, I mean, they're going to be really spying big time on each other, especially with North Korea wanting to bomb the USA. And who's who's siding on who, who's the enemy of who, and everyone, the whole world, every nation is trying to figure out it within the month of October which side they should side on and, and blah, blah, blah. Okay? <laughs> okay, so uh, 22nd of October, Mars enters Libra. Mm, I forgot, 19th of October, New Moon is in entering Libra. So, new opportunities for for love, for uh, new opportunities for friendship, okay? Um, new, op new opportunities for your hopes, dreams, and wishes. Now, it depends. What are your hopes, dreams, and wishes? Now, even your worst, you know, the things that you are that you are thinking about day in and day out, whether it's worries or whatever, you can be manifesting this. So be careful. You must learn to tame your thoughts here. Okay? So, um, yeah, Mars entering on the 22nd of October, that go-getter energy, wanting to make contracts happen, wanting to make money flow to you, wanting your dreams to happen for you. Um, Venus is also here. It's very passionate, very sensual energy very uh, um, yeah definitely either you're flirting with friends or they're flirting with you um, you could be feeling an attraction for a friend um, this is also like internet as well online dating energy on the 23rd of October sent into Scorpio a lot of your um, now, when Sun enters Scorpio in your 12th house, you're probably feeling really sleepy, wanting to regenerate, wanting just to stay indoors, behind closed doors, and you probably put a lot of focus just being alone and wanting to do some research and reading books, just being having some alone time, and... Um, but it is uh, also as well as, um, you know, having some deep uh, secretive talkings with people who are your, uh, who are authoritative figures, even your father figures, you know, um, people who are, who work for the law, guru figures, um, because Jupiter is sitting here, you know. Um, very intense energy. Your focus is very much 
here. Um, also, just a lot of sexual energy, a lot of sexual energy here with Mercury and and Sun and Jupiter in. Um, yeah, so definitely, if possibly, you could be entering into an affair or something, and a secret, a secret kind of a thing. But if you're married, another thing could, that could be happening is like tell you know, telling your wife, you know, maybe we should have sex every day. <laughs> you know, convincing your husband or your wife to have sex with you every day. Your libido could be very, very strong, especially in the month of October, um, if if you are, um, I don't know, but in regards to sun here, it, it, it could also be like working for the government, investigating undercover. What time is it? Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, that was the general basic <laughs> astrology forecast reading for Sagittarius for the month of October. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love it when you comment, everyone. And um, share the video. Share the video. Especially to people you know who are Saggies. Okay, so hugs and kisses. We'll see each other next month. The first of the month, I always say who is the winner for those subscribers. You subscribe, you can win a personal reading uh, for your eyes only. Okay? Goodbye. Till next time.